So I've now seen Toy Story 4 two times in theaters. But not only that, I binged through all three movies before 4 even came out. So I've got all the movies pretty fresh in my memory. It got me wondering, what exactly should be considered the saddest moments of this four film franchise. It's chock full of emotion, each film is, but it seems like each film ups the ante when it comes to emotion. So I wanna dive into what my personal top five emotional moments in this Toy Story franchise would be. Now, these may not be the same exact ranking as, as yours. I'd even say that my top three could be interchanged at any given day. They're, they're pretty much equals, but it's all a matter of which, which moment resonates with me the most at this moment in my life. So let's get into it. At number five, I have a moment from Toy Story 1. Uh, this moment is when Buzz realizes that he is a toy and he tries to fly and it's playing the song I Will Go Sailing No More by Randy Newman. And uh, it's a really uh, existential moment and the song really fits the, the moment perfectly. He tries to fly and he falls and he breaks his arm off. It's followed by some pretty funny stuff with him uh, as Mrs. Nesbitt uh, drinking tea. But uh, yeah, that moment is was the first real kind of heartbreaking moment of the, the Toy Story saga. And number four, I have a, a new fresh moment from uh, Toy Story 4, and it's a, it's an unexpected moment to me because of, by viewing the trailers, I wouldn't expect to sympathize with this character, but uh, it involves the character Gabby Gabby, who is the, the main uh, antagonist in the new movie. And uh, after she's been denied by a girl that she wanted to... To, to be a part of for the whole entire movie after taking Woody's uh, voice box. She finally finds a lost girl at the carnival and uh, becomes the girl's uh, toy. And it's a really, it's a really uh, nice moment. You know, it's it just, you didn't think you was going to sympathize with this character and you think that she's going to go with Bonnie and the rest of the toys. Then she sees this lost girl and decides this is the most noble thing that I can do, uh, which is a callback to a line earlier in the movie. And it's, it's really nice, all, all, all accompanied by a, a really nice score by Randy Newman, not to mention amazing voice work from Chris, uh, Christina Hendricks. I just, I really loved that character. I didn't expect to. At number three, I have a moment that I think will be a lot of people's number one, and it, it, next year it might be my number one, but uh, this is the closing moments of Toy Story 3 when when Andy donates his toys to Bonnie. Um, it, it's, it's a really uh, bittersweet moment, dude, which is... a uh, something that happens in a lot in these Toy Story movies. Um, it, it all, all accompanied by an amazing Randy Newman score yet again, him getting in the lawn with Bonnie and, and playing with all these toys and uh, to, to close it off with, with Woody saying so long partner. And that's, that's how the movie ends. And it, it, it makes me cry every single time. Um, like I said, this is a lot of people's saddest moment of the franchise, and a lot of people think that the franchise should have closed with this. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it it's it's an amazing moment, and uh, like I said, years from now, this could be my saddest moment. Number two, I have a moment from Toy Story 2, and uh, up until this new movie, uh, th this would have been my saddest moment. Uh, the When she loved me moment, digging into Jessie's backstory of her abandonment and just showing how her, her owner uh, lived through her life and uh, finally grew up and didn't want to have Jesse anymore and, and and abandoned her, basically. All accompanied by this song, yet again written by Randy Newman, but uh, vocalized by Sarah McLaughlin. It is uh, top five saddest songs ever written. It, it is a truly, truly remarkably sad moment. It, it does make me cry every time. I watched it again last week. I was half asleep and that the song starts playing and I start tearing up. It, uh, yeah, it's, I don't think Jesse gets enough credit for just how truly tragic her backstory is because she's such a lighthearted and fun character nowadays. But yeah, that's a moment that that's always going to be just incredibly sad to me. And at number one, I have yet again, another moment from the new Toy Story because it's chock full of emotion. And, uh, after watching it a second time, the ending of Toy Story 4 didn't make me tear up quite as much as it did the first time, but I still think it is the most emotionally impactful and bittersweet yet satisfying moment in all of Toy Story. Uh, it's it's not just one moment, it's it, it's it's all the things. It's it's Woody initially saying goodbye to Bo Peep, then to go go talk to Buzz, then Buzz says Bonnie will be okay, and basically giving him the go ahead to stay with Bo Peep and to, to help all these lost toys and just him saying goodbye to all these toys, get, taking the sheriff badge off, giving it to Jesse. It's, it's reminiscent a little bit of, of Captain America's ending and, 
Avengers uh, Endgame. Again, another spoiler there. Hopefully you've seen that. But yeah, all topped off with the the most iconic line of all of Toy Story, which is to infinity and beyond, which Buzz says to infinity and Woody says and beyond. And it's it, it's a really, really bittersweet moment. But uh, I think what makes the moment even work even better the second time is when you watch the movie uh, at the beginning of the movie, when when Bonnie gets to, when, not when Bonnie but when a bow gets taken away, you can tell that Woody is about to get in that box and go with uh, Bo, and it just shows their relationship and how much he cares for her. How he's about to throw away uh, Andy's entire like his entire time with Andy to go stay with Bo, and uh, once you see see that moment on a second viewing, it, it really makes the ending work even better to me. It's it, it's I guess it's just an ending that. That works for me in my life right now. It's it was very satisfying um, just to see Woody uh, find himself and find his own voice. And he's he was being neglected, and you, know, you can't just throw everything off on Bonnie. You know, she's a five year old. You know, she wants to play with the toys that she wants to play with. He realized that he wasn't going to be put to the proper use there, and he can he can really live a loving life with Bo while helping these other toys. And it was a uh, really powerful i thought i'm gonna go watch the movie again actually so there's my top five saddest moments in in the toy story franchise let me know what your saddest moments are in the comment section below hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching